Hi Scrappers, it's Muriel. I am here with another project um, from my Christmas in July series. I just wanted to show you some cards I created, some pillow boxes, altered burlap bag, and some altered um, treat bags. So let's start with the cards. I completed these cards um, the other day. I have already have them bagged up ready to uh, be delivered, but this is one of the cards I made using um, doilies, some uh, photo corners, which I never use, but these um, are by Making Memories. And uh, this is a um, basic gray tag. And then some of these uh, banners from Recollections. So that was really simple, and I just tied it off with some um, grow grain, brown ribbon, some green twine, and a button. And then on the inside, I just have a banner. I just left it um, plain. This is some of that really good 65-pound weight cardstock from Michaels. And then I just stamped it on the back. So that was one of the cards I made. And that was uh, inspired from um, one of the cards in the magazines that I've been reading. And here's another one. These I used on the... Um, corrugated card so it's really big um, and I used a paper bag here with some rub-ons that say hang the lights and these um, jink these Christmas bells bulbs are from um, recollections I think, think I have them out but again this is all of the um, products that I bought from last year that recollections had and they went on sale so um, the banner as well and the paper and then on the inside I just used um, one of the um, what is those called again <laughs> um, the cards in an instant so that was one of the cards so um, just says it all I can put my sentiment there or just my name so that was one of them and I thought that I could put a gift card in here that's kind of what the um, idea was for the card with the uh, paper bag and then the other one it's quite similar actually it looks like that same thing paper bag I use a rub on on the bag one of the banners from recollections a doily and then on the inside another one of those cards they really make um, creating cards inside um, really quick I, I think it's called cards in an instant I think that was the name of it okay so I did those cards there and then I created um, altered this burlap bag these are some iron-on uh, transfer velvet iron-ons and I'll show you because I've had them for a long, 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 long time. Um, oh my God, I think they're from, they may be from 2000. Okay, but I picked them up at a scrapbook crop, not a crop, but a scrapbook convention. So there were a bunch of these acid-free velvet iron-on and uh, they're snowflakes. So if you have these, I, I have some more around the house somewhere. I think I have... Um, Halloween and maybe another Christmas kind but basically I just iron them on and I use this um, cute little sticker from Recollections um, dimensional stickers I got it from here again this is from last year this is when they changed their packaging for the holiday so cute so that kind of changes up the bag a bit as opposed to um, doing you know what we typically do put some lace and and um, ribbons and flowers this these are iron arms iron on excuse me and these burlap bags again same thing recollections but you can also get them at Target I found them at as well um, then my next project I did was I digged into my um, Christmas box and I remembered that I had purchased these Martha Stewart treat bags and they're all Christmas they're red and green the red ones have um, seasons greetings on them and then the green ones has uh, says Merry Christmas and they also come with these cute little tags as well so I thought they were cute but they needed something else to them so I kind of altered them a bit and you can see what I did was use some of this gold trim from uh, Michaels 
trim it up uh, put that around the um, center of the uh, treat bag and then I pulled out some craft supplies one flowers along with some petaloo leaves and um, alter those up here are the petaloo leaves these I got it Tuesday morning and then I also used some leaves from Prima and then the flowers I took an um, an idea from Laura. Laura has purchased these containers from Michaels when they are on sale. Um, so I did the same thing. I got them at 50% off and I just house a lot of those small flowers. When I was a designer with Craft Supplies 1, I would get lots and lots of flowers. So I uh, just put them in here, label them, and then when I need to craft, I just bring these to the table, to the work table, and it's just a lot easier. So here is one of the green ones that I did. I try to mix it up with leaves and red flowers, um, a combination of red and white flowers. And these have a drawstring, so they, you know, they draw up really well and this doesn't come off. And I applied this um, gold trim with none other than score tape. I didn't want to use any um, hot glue and the score tape works fine. Okay, and there's another one. Here's the one with the Prima, flop, uh, Prima leaves. So I just think it really just kind of jazz it up just a bit. And there is the last one. And the tags she provided for you. So they're just ready for the names of the individuals that are getting them. So that was another project. Then I created some uh, balsa boxes. I did three. I had these tags uh, left over um, from a um, sticker pack and I just put them on some cardstock and trimmed around and created these boxes. Now the papers that I use are uh, were from Studio Calico, the Wonderland collection. Wonderland. And these were given to me by Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. So this is... Um, I want to say probably the second time I used it. What I love about Studio Calico paper pads are that um, they have this little lip of a different pattern um, that coincides with the main sheet, at least for me. It kind of takes the thinking out of which two pages you're going to use to make a card. It's kind of right there. I've always... Uh, so note, known that and always use that when I am creating. Okay, so um, I took the first um, one here, the brown and white snowflake pattern, and then I used the um, red that went with it for this um, sleeve. And I used some of this twill ribbon. I'm not sure who gave it to me, but I just um, keep a jar here with all my twill ribbons. And uh, there was a beige piece and then connected it to the tag. So that's ready to go. And these can be used for candies, um, stick pins, any small embellishments that you want to share with your uh, subscribers. This is perfect. I would um, close one end of the box up and then just have them use the other side to open. But they're such a cute um, gift. And yes, I did use the um, We Are Memory Keepers pillow box punch board to make them. And you can make these long and you can make them small. I use six by six papers and that's the size that you get, which is a pretty good size. Here's a second one with some red chevron paper and the band is um, like a beige color um, snowflake pattern. And I used the red and white twill and there's the card there that says don't open until December 25th. So, so cute. And on the back, I also used that stamp from Michaels. And then here's the third one. It has a cute, um, I don't know if that's herringbone pattern. And then the band has um, several uh, patterns on it. And then the green and white twill with the card 25 Days of Christmas. So such a fun idea. I highly recommend if you have the um, pillow box that you pull it out this year for um, 
using it to house your um, gifts that you're going to give to your friends. So I think that is all that I have um, created. And again, I'm trying to um, go until the 31st of um, July when um, at that time there'll be no more Christmas stuff to show. I pretty much have a good idea um, in terms of um, things I want to give, how it should be packaged. So there are lots of ideas again from these um, magazines that you can utilize. Say for instance, how cute is that packaging there? That's just with some um, paper, brown paper, um, and then they have the chalk. Um, um, I don't know if those are tags or if they stamped them, but that is such a cute idea. And then you just add a piece of holly with some um, pine cones and some um, twigs. So cute. So that's what's been inspiring me. That's another great idea there. That's a cute little brown paper bag that they have embellished with two clothespins. And here is the um, inspiration I got from the card. Which card is it? from this one here. Okay, it was, um, yeah. So, um, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it just so much, it works so easy for me, I guess. And there is the idea from the, uh, the pillow box, which I thought was fantastic. Okay, and there was the idea for the burlap bag. So I appreciate you watching. I hope um, the things I've shown that you try them, that you look in your uh, stash and um, see the things that um, you have and able to put them together. Something as simple as, you know, this is already decorated, but taking it up another notch, putting your uh, touch of uh, decorations on it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful afternoon and we'll talk again next week. Bye now.